Our keynote speaker for today's 19th annual Founders Day address is Leonard Mazur. Since 2000, Leonard has been serving and involved with Manor College. Leonard, a trustee emeritus and immediate past chairman of the board, holds a special status signifying lifetime trusteeship. It is usually only conferred upon past chairpersons of the board. Leonard, being the immediate past chairman as well as the current chairman of the Ukrainian Community Committee at Manor College, was included in a list of top 40 global Ukrainians that appeared in the September issue of Forbes Ukraine magazine. Leonard is the chairman, secretary of Sidious Pharmaceuticals, Inc., and has a passion for researching and developing life-saving drugs which have contributed to the betterment and well-being of humanity. Leonard has secured several accolades throughout his impressive career, including the Ellis Island Medal of Honor in 2012 and the Diamond Achievement Award from Temple University in 2005. In 2009, he was inducted into the West Catholic High School Hall of Fame. Leonard's passion for education is evident throughout his civic leadership experience and volunteer work. In addition to serving at Manor, Leonard has been serving on the Board of Visitors of the College of Liberal Arts at Temple University since 2006 and on the Board of the West Catholic Preparatory School. Leonard currently resides in Cranford, New Jersey with his wife and Manor College alumni, Helena. He is a proud father and grandfather. Leonard has been such a positive influence and change maker at Manor College. We are honored to welcome Leonard Mazur as our keynote speaker for our 2022 Founders Day Address. Good morning. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here and to be invited to be the uh, keynote speaker for Founders Day here at, uh, at Manor College. Manor College and myself have a very long association uh, it goes back to the 70s and maybe even earlier than that. But uh, from a formal point of view, I first became involved with Manor as uh, a member of something known as they had an advisory board. This was in the 70s and that lasted for several years. And then uh, ultimately uh, uh, I joined the, uh, the board of trustees for the college and then uh, became the uh, chairman of the Board of Trustees, uh, which I served for a number of years. I found that, uh, that Manor, uh, it's, it's, a, it's an institution, and like, like all institutions, it has a history, and obviously we're here today to commemorate uh, 75 years of its history. But uh, that, uh, that history actually goes back much, much further than that because uh, the school itself uh, was founded by the Order of Sisters of St. Basil the Great, and that order goes all the way back to the fourth century and uh, has survived all these centuries where the sisters, along with, uh, uh, with friars or, or priests as well, it was a monastic order in, in the very beginning, it was that way for, for a long, long time, served the needs of the community. So. That community was, uh, uh, in large measure, those that were underserved, underrepresented, uh, and had uh, great needs. So uh, usually with, uh, with people that were impoverished and had, uh, had tremendous uh, needs uh, that had to be uh, somehow met by uh, the charity of others like the sisters uh, at that time. That work ultimately evolved all the way up until the time of, uh, and you, you think about it, carrying right through to here when uh, Ukrainian Catholics arrived in the United States. Uh, and there were several waves of, uh, of Ukrainian Catholics uh, arriving into the United States, but uh, probably the most notable one, which was one of the larger ones, occurred after World War II when a large number of, uh, of Ukrainian Catholics were dispossessed by, by the war and, and uh, Fortunately, the United States at that time was able to accommodate uh, several hundred thousand Ukrainian Catholics came here. And uh, a good number of them populated in the Philadelphia area. The sisters came along with them at that time. And the, the sisters' uh, presence here in this country was actually there before that. Uh, but, uh, but there was a larger number that came at that point. They established an orphanage uh, in Philadelphia and they also at the same time roughly around the same time, acquired all this land that was here and they were able to, uh, to start uh, both uh, St. Basil's Academy and Manor College. So uh, this is the 75th anniversary of that uh, event. And for, for all of us, what's important here is, is the fact that 
that work that was uh, started by the sisters and this, uh, and this uh, college, which started out as a two-year college, ultimately transitioned to being a four-year college, that work uh, had as its uh, uh, cornerstone something that you won't find in a lot of, uh, of hardly any place, actually, when you think about large institutions, large colleges, and so forth. And that is that uh, th uh, what Manor has, it has a culture of caring. And that's something that attracted me to Manor early on. I noticed that from the very beginning, my first association with the school, uh, that uh, if you spoke to the students, if you spoke to the faculty, you spoke to the administration, the people in, that's, that, are, that comprise the Manor community truly care about those students. And that is so evident that uh, it really is something that uh, separates uh, Manor from the, really the rest of the collegiate world from what I can tell. It's very, very few places have what, uh, what Manor has in that, in that fashion. So, and all the people that I've associated with uh, over the years from, with the sisters, with the administrators, with, uh, with uh, the faculty, they all have that same attitude. And that is so refreshing to see because, uh, you know, we live in a very fast-paced world. We don't see people really caring for each other a lot of times, but you go to Manor and you see it. It's right there. It's so evident. So uh, my, uh, uh, I believe that, uh, that Manor has, uh, has a great future ahead of itself uh, in terms of uh, the, the coming years. We've, uh, I've uh, been... Uh, proud to have been associated with some of the major decisions that have been made here at the at the college. It's a it's a great institution. It's got uh, great leadership uh, with uh, with uh, Dr. Jonathan Perry, and uh, also we still have some participation from the sisters here. Their numbers have dwindled over the years, but what's really critical here is even though their numbers may have dwindled, their mission did not dwindle at all. So their mission has remained the same. The, it's the Brazilian approach, the Brazilian philosophy to, to conducting yourself. And it's something that is, again, spreads throughout the entire college. It's there and you can see it, it's very evident. And I think it's something that uh, everybody should really be, be really very proud of, uh, of their affiliation with the school. I think uh, that's the other part of it. It's not just caring but it's also the fact that there's a pride that you can sense with uh, everyone associated with Manor. And again, it's refreshing. It's refreshing for me personally to be associated with that. So I would also like to add that uh, I did have a personal involvement with uh, people always ask me, so how was it that you got involved with, uh, with Manor College? Well, that actually goes back to the fact that uh, my wife, Helena Mazur, who was formerly known as Helena Olenek, was uh, a student at St. Basil's Academy and at Manor as well. And that's how, that was my, my very first exposure to, uh, to Manor uh, back in, the, well, I'm not going to tell you how many years ago it was. So uh, I'll let you guess that. But nevertheless, uh, I, I, it was an opportunity for me at that time even. I did meet the sisters. I, uh, I had a chance to talk to them. Uh, and also there was another personal involvement with, uh, with Manor as well, and that was that uh, my late mother, uh, Maria Mazur, was, uh, she was well known in her day as being uh, one of the top piss and key, which is uh, the making of Ukrainian Easter eggs artists in the Philadelphia area. And she did a lot of work with the sisters, held demonstrations, gave lessons, and so forth. And so uh, today that work is being commemorated at, uh, at the cultural center that the, that the college has. So I, that was uh, another exposure that I had because uh, I met some of the sisters in connection with that. And uh, what always got me again is just the, the enthusiasm that uh, the sisters had for what they were doing. They had tremendous enthusiasm. And again, that enthusiasm again is there at uh, at Manor with, uh, with everybody that's associated with it. And if you really want to think about Manor in 75 years, well, uh, all you have to do is go uh, come into the main administration building and the very first person that you're going to meet is Ann Kachula. 
Ancachula has been there for, I, I'm not even sure how many years at this point, but she is, uh, she's, uh, she is manner in reality. And so uh, she's someone that uh, really, whenever I think about manner, I think about her also and, and all the great things that she's done there. She's, uh, see, she knows everybody and everybody knows her. So she's a great example of the, the manner spirit and the, uh, the traditions that are being carried on at the, at the, at the college. So my, um, I think my, view, my point of view as far as the long-term future for the for uh, for manor is that uh, hopefully one day it'll go to the next level and that will be it'll go to the university level and we'll start to see graduate programs and everything the the, uh, the school is really growing and i think that's what's really uh, important here despite the pandemic despite everything that's going on there's uh, there's a real feeling of growth and uh, the pandemic may uh, may slow us down a little bit, but it's not gonna stop anything in terms of progress and what's going on. And I think, uh, I think as, uh, as those students graduate and go out, uh, again, as more and more of them go out into, uh, into, the, into the world, into various occupations and so forth, the reputation of manor is going to actually, uh, is gonna increase as a result of that. So uh, we, have, uh, we have many great opportunities at, uh, at manor. And I think uh, those of you that are, that are here celebrating with me the 75th anniversary, you really need to think about uh, what it is that you can do for Manor, because that's really important as well, because uh, all of us are here in one role or another to support the school. And uh, I really invite everybody to support the school in any way, manner, shape that they can, because it's really critical to the success of the school. So with that, uh, I'll, I'll close my comments and thank you for taking the time to listen to what I have to say about a phenomenal institution, Manor College.